Youth Sensitization and Mobilization Committee for the forthcoming membership registration and revalidation exercise. I'm glad to say that the party under the caretaker extraordinary convention planning committee is undertaking some strategic measures to properly reposition our party. In addition to the reconciliation exercise, which has continued to yield tremendous results for the party, we are also embarking on this critical measure to breathe a new life into the party. The Sensitization and Mobilization Committee had a crucial and critical role to play in the membership registration and revalidation exercise which will commence soon. You are expected to mount rigorous sensitization program to effectively mobilize every member of the party, especially women and youth, to either revalidate their membership or register afresh. You should, you should leave no stone unturned to ensure effective mobilization for every member to take advantage of this opportunity to register. I want to assure you that the leadership of the party will, con will, will provide the committee with all the necessary support to ensure the success of your assignment. You are enjoying to work as a team to achieve the desired goal with ease and within the expected time frame. The committee is here by advice to liaise with all stakeholders in all the states to carry everyone on board for an all-inclusive program. With these few remarks, it is now my singular honor and privilege to inaugurate the Women and Youth Sensitization and Mobilization Committee. Thank you and God bless. Seize this opportunity to appreciate Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari for leading the way, not only in this party, but across the country, for creating this platform and making this wonderful opportunity available for us as a people and as a nation, where each and every one of us would have the opportunity to make contributions towards this nation building. I want to sincerely appreciate you, Mr. President, for caring for us, a nation, for caring for women, for caring for youths, and for caring for the future of each and every one of us. You are indeed a father that each and every one of us will always be proud to have. Let me appreciate my wonderful brother here and colleague, a friend, the executive governor of Yobe State, and chairman of the Keteka Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, Alajime Malabuni. You have been an astute politician, an amiable person, an accommodative person, and an achiever. We sincerely appreciate you for taking up this onerous task of rebuilding the party from bottom up. For restoring peace and sanity, unity and togetherness to our wonderful party, the All Progressives Congress. Ever since you come on board, Every agreed member of the party across the country have found Sukkot. And peace within ourselves. Let me appreciate each and every leader of this great party across the country. From the nation, national, states, local, world, and even polling units. Let me, on behalf of this committee, equally appreciate every member the existing members of this party. This is a deep task, Your Excellency. We have always been saddled with the responsibility of carrying one assignment, carrying out one assignment or the other for the party. And we have always delivered on our mandate. This is yet another one. 
and by the grace of God, with your cooperation, understanding, and the support of yourselves, members of the party and Nigerians, we are very confident that we are going to deliver resoundingly once again. You recall that just of recent, and just like as always in the past, there has always been agitation for youth and women inclusion in governance and the leadership of this country. Of recent, we are aware of the NSAS protests, five demands. Those demands were met. And there was an extension. It is just an expression of desire for good governance and inclusion in the country. Wonderfully, Mr. President opened the door through the chairman of the party and the managers of the party, where an opportunity has been created that all those who left the party before, those who are desirous of joining the party, and those who are desirous of the campaign from other political parties to APC, that window has been opened. And today, we have just inaugurated this all-important committee. Your Excellency, I want to assure you that we shall move to the field immediately. We are going to swing. We are going to swing into action. We are going to liaise with every stakeholder within the party and across party line. We are going to generate serious awareness. We are going to educate the Nigerian people about our Green Party. We are going to sensitize the Nigerian people. We are going to mobilize and we are going to have membership of this party triple, if not quadruple, for the grace of God. We've had this experience in my state before, where we had just below 85,000 as members in Kofi State. And you recall, Your Excellency, with the support of yourself and the party, we were able to grow the membership by five, that's five times over. Almost five times over. We had over 450,000 members from Kogi State. <laughs> it is not out of place that every election in Kogi State, we are winning it with ease. We are going to repeat the same feat for the country by the grace of God. <laughs> Your Excellency, on behalf of all the members of this committee, we have taken up this responsibility. It is a sacrifice. It is act of patriotism. It is a national assignment. We are going to deliver resoundingly. The party, the All Progressives Congress, will continue to win every election in this country. By the time we are done, and all the registrations of new members and revalidation of the existing members are done in the country, Your Excellency, APC will not just be the largest in Africa, but we are going to call on even the developed nations to come and learn, not only from Nigeria, they will come and learn from the All Progressives Congress in Nigeria. <laughs>